In this problem, we're told a crate of mass M equals 32 kilograms rides on the bed of a truck attached by a cord to the back of the cab as in this figure. The cord can withstand a maximum tension of 68 newtons before breaking. Neglecting friction between the crate and the truck bed, find the maximum acceleration the truck can have before the cord breaks. Right, so this right here is going to be the truck. Right, we have this crate and we have this cord. Right, this cord is going to be holding it on. Right, and so essentially, this car is going to be going. We're going to try and find this, the maximum acceleration this thing can accelerate so that this thing doesn't break and it doesn't fly off. Right, we don't want that happening. So, how do we solve this problem? So, let's just write down what we have. So, we know the mass is 32 kilograms. Right, and we also know the the maximum tension force, right, that this thing can hold, right, so this force right here is essentially, right, and you can label this T, I'm going to label it T, T is equal to what, 68 newtons, right, so we know the maximum this is going to hold is 68 newtons, right, and keep in mind, so it's going to be acting this way, right, because this thing is going to fly off, so the force is essentially stopping it from doing that, okay, and so what other forces do we have, so we're going to have another force, right, this, uh, this is going to be a force acting this way, which causes the a box to fly off, right? And so what is this force going to be equal to? So we'll actually get to that in a second, but how do we solve this problem? So, right, so we have these two different forces, right? We know T and we're trying to solve for acceleration. So the way we solve this is we know this force is going to be equal to, or well, force equals mass times acceleration. So the mass of the object times the acceleration at which it goes at is equal to the force, right? And so what we know about this problem is, right, if we take the sum of the forces in the x direction, and I'm just saying x because we're going to say this is the x plane, right, because they're all along the same line, what are the sum of the forces going to be equal to? So the sum of the forces in this problem, they're going to be equal to zero. And the reason that is, is because it's not moving at this point, right? So when we try and solve for it, we want it to find the point where it doesn't move, right? So zero is going to be equal to, right? And when you solve some of the forces in a direction, what you do is you, uh, what you want to do is just label the forces next. So what are the different forces? So we have tension, right? And so tension is going to the right. And when something's going to the right, we say positive. If it's going to the left, we say negative. So we have tension, and then minus what? So we have this force right here too, right? And since it's going to the left, we label it negative. So what does this tell you? If we add it to the other side, T is equal to F, right? So this tension force is going to be equal to this force right here, right? But what is this force equal to? Well, we know force equals mass times acceleration, right? So that means tension is just going to be equal to the mass of the crate multiplied by the acceleration. Right? But keep in mind what the tension is. It's the maximum tension. So that means we're going to get the maximum acceleration that it can withstand before this thing breaks. Right, because if this was greater than whatever value we choose, the tension would be greater, and it's going to snap. Boom, it's going to break. And so, yeah. So if we want to solve for the acceleration, we can just divide by m. Right, so the acceleration is going to be equal to the tension, right, which is 68 newtons, divided by the mass. Right, and so what's the mass? It's just 32 kilograms. Right, so keep in mind, this is newtons, this is kg. So 68 divided by 32 is going to be a equals 2.125. Right, and then keep in mind, this is meters per second squared because we're using uh, newtons divided by kilograms. So you can round however you want. You can say 2.1, whatever you want to do. But yeah, so this is going to be the maximum acceleration this thing can undergo if uh, the tension cord, right, 68 newtons is maximum before it breaks. But yeah, so uh, this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.